Welcome Taurus and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a bonus singles love reading for October 2020. Please always keep in mind however time is fluid. So whenever you view this, it may represent a past, a present, or a future event for you. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for additional messages and guidance. There are always timestamps in the description box if you would ever like to skip ahead. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now we have You Deserve Love. You are lovable. And we have Deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. So again, time energy is fluid. This could have represented a, a negative situation, a relationship that you dealt with. I'm hearing situationship for some of you. <clears throat> some of you could have been married to this person, could have been dating them, or just in some type of you know, romantic connection with them where they were false you know they weren't who they said they were <clears throat> they may have deceived you i mean this could have been something that you dealt with you know last month two years ago it could be something you're currently just getting out of right somebody it feels like was very toxic and they i want to say they had a big ego and they like to feed that um they they took all that you could give from them like to them <clears throat> and they didn't replenish anything back so let's talk about new love. Let's see what's coming in for Taurus. The star. It could be an Aquarius. This also could be, you know, your wish fulfillment. This is exactly what you're looking for. Now, the star is somebody to be admired and respected. This is somebody that people look up to. It's like, wow, you know, Taurus is so amazing and Taurus is so beautiful or handsome and so intelligent and Taurus always seems to have it together and you know Taurus you know always has this balance and they always um, remain so strong even in a negative time they just you know they appreciate things here and I think that you see this person and you recognize a lot of those similar traits in them <clears throat> very healing energy now you're guarded because maybe you guys work together or um, you know, like I said, you could still be healing from the past, but regardless, you can't seem to help yourself, but like peeking out behind your defenses and like, wow, look at this person just a working over there, do this worker bee, look what they're doing. I mean, look, you know, it's kind of like, so, I, honestly, again, this is general, take what resonates. I kind of feel like some of you are just like, I don't need love. I don't want love. I'm going to focus on me right now. When the time is right, time is right. You know, we'll, we'll see what happens, but here you are. Here you are, you know, kind of, you know, defensive, on guard, don't know if I can trust anybody, can't let anybody in, I've been deceived, been hurt too many times in the past, I deserve so much better than that, but here's somebody hard at work and it's like, you're like, I don't know about that, you know, it's like, can I trust them, you know, but at the same time, it's like, you're kind of peeking out, I mean, you're, you're watching them, you're looking at them, you're like, I, li I like this person, they're making you, you know, curious, Okay, it's like though you're behind your defenses, you're not like letting your guard down. It's like you still can't help but wonder. I mean, I wonder who this person is. What are they truly like? You know, how are they feeling about me? Are they authentic in the things that they're saying, the things that they're displaying towards me? I think they are a Libra energy here under the deck. Doing the right thing, thinking about the future, thinking about long term. Looking out over the horizon and thinking about the possibilities there. Yearning, wishing, waiting, and hoping for you want this to be exactly what it is. Like, uh, so you're nervous to open your heart to someone because you don't know if you can trust. And I don't want to say that every single one of you just has, you know, um, deep wounded trust issues, but it definitely feels like, you know, you were hurt a lot. You were betrayed a lot. And it's understandable if you went through that kind of pain, that kind of disappointment in a relationship where you may have thought, you know, this is going to be my forever person and I'm going to keep giving, giving, giving my heart, my love, my energy, your money for some of you. And no matter how much you seem to give, they just deceived you. You know, maybe they had someone else or they weren't who they said they were or they weren't trustworthy, okay? So you're nervous. But here comes love and they want to express it to you. But can you trust new love? It's like you're watching, you're curious, you feel a deep attraction. Like there's, you know, a spark happening here. You can't help but like, I mean, I'm just kind of seeing this energy, this person approaching you. I mean, like say, for those of you who may work together, I kind of see this energy, this person kind of approaching you. You know, hey Taurus, how are you doing today? You know, and you're just like, I'm busy. You know, I've got to pick up the kids after work, or I've got to do this, that, and the other, etc. And it's like, oh, okay, Taurus, you know, I'll talk to you later. And they go off to go work, whatever they're doing, and you're kind of like, yeah, good riddance. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not interested in this right now. But as soon as they walk away, it's like you peer back out, look at them, and you're, you're watching them, and you're just like, 
but there's still there's something here there's something here it's like you're so nervous to really just let anything in some of you it's like <clears throat> you're afraid that everyone is wearing like a mask okay that they're, they're never really who they say they are okay and i feel like this is a very specific message for maybe a very specific group of Torians. um decision time you want to heal you want to move past you know you want you want a love that you can trust a love that you can build with you know have growth stability maybe your heart is still a little bit hung up over the past or just that pain that was there even if you're not still in love with the past energy um but it's like it, it's time to move forward yeah there's an opportunity here taurus virgo capricorn energy with the ace of pentacles an opportunity an offer coming in from this person it's like maybe they've tried a little bit to kind of get your attention they want to like go away with you, travel to see you, spend time with you. For those of you who work together, they may be like, hey, me and the guys are going after work to grab some lunch. Do you want to come with us? Or, you know, you want to meet up? It's their it's their way of breaking the ice to you. It's, it's their way of, you know, finding out where you stand in this. They know that you're really hurt, that you're deeply guarded, that you're nervous, okay, about things being unbalanced and fair. But they're coming in anyway. They, I don't feel like this person's going to push you, okay? I don't feel like this person's going to, you know, persistently keep bugging you. Oh, come on, Taurus, come on. But it's like, they just, they know that there's something here. They can feel something here. And they truly just want to give you, you know, love. They really want to give you stability. They want to make you happy. They want to get to know you. I think that you really like this person too. That's the thing. Now, for those of you who are shaking your head, well, no, -uh, I don't like that person. You know, the person that I'm picking up here is someone that you are going to be very interested in. You're very curious about. So if you haven't met this person yet, you will be meeting this person. You know, just keep your eyes open for that. They're going to want to get to know you. They're going to want to come in here. They're going to bring a lot of communication. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Capricorn energy with the devil. But there was a very toxic, maybe very controlling, very manipulative person here. Um, there could have been addiction involved. The person could have been older. Or maybe they were, you know, tied down to another situation or something. It wasn't healthy, but there's someone you could meet in this person online. Uh, you could know them through family, friends, acquaintances. That definitely wants to build stability, security here. They feel like you are a part of their future and they want to open this new chapter with you. Okay, they definitely want to invest in the long term. Okay, and they've got their sights set on you. So, I mean, Spirit's advice here is to be open to it. You deserve to be happy, Taurus. And I know that you're guarded. I know that you're hurt. I know that you're trying to work through that. But you, this will pass, Okay. Um, I'm not saying, you know, you have to go agree to go out with this person, but get to know him, talk to him, you know, be open to it. It's like you're manifesting this love, but you're afraid to accept it. You're afraid to, you know, embrace it once it's here. It's like maybe this person makes you a little bit nervous, okay? And that's understandable. It's okay to, you know, to still be, you know, working through that past trauma, that past pain. But this new energy, you're going to have to give them a chance because they can only open the door so so far, okay? You're going to have to come outside and greet them. Do you get what I'm saying? This is a beautiful energy coming in here for you. And it's like whatever that was in the past, they may be watching you from afar and, you know, a little bit. I mean, I see them like huffing and puffing a little bit. I mean, like the three little pigs, like I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. They don't want to see you happy, but it's you healing and moving on and embracing new love. And, you know, that's what they want. They want you to sit in that hurt and they want you to sit in that pain. I know that's not okay, but that's what the past energy wants. They want you to be hung up on them. They want you to, to you know, be miserable without them. But watching you move on to something new, they're sitting here and they are deeply regretting the past. I see a beautiful energy coming in, if you'll allow it, Taurus. This is your reading. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm wishing you all strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.